Jordan Diogo, congratulations through to the semi-finals. The job's done. If we learn anything from last night, it's that even a 3-1 first leg lead doesn't really mean anything, but was this one a comfortable one, would you say, Jordan? Um, I think we'd want to do better overall, um, but at the same time, I still felt as though we started the game really well. First half, could have scored one or two more goals. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty comfortable, but I think we'd be really disappointed in the goals that were conceded. Um, so still plenty of stuff that we can be better at. But overall, we knew it was going to be tough, you know, 3-1, it's never over, as you've seen last night. So we wanted to give it everything. Um, a lot of changes with fresh legs and um, we'll go through the next round, which is the most important thing. And did those changes make a difference today, Diogo, in terms of the side that was fielded today? You don't always play together. Did that make a difference in how you set out today? Yeah, we tried to do our best, as always. I think uh, we, as a team, we played a very good first half. They scored the goal almost out of nothing. Uh, but we were at the one point three one up, six two aggregate. I think maybe we relax when we shouldn't. But uh, the most important is that we go through. That is the most important thing. Got to ask you, Jordan, what happened with that uh, armband past the parcel when you guys were being substituted? Yeah, I didn't realise Millie was coming off, so I gave it to him, and then he got he come off. So yeah, I give it away. I think again. Um, so yeah, that was it. <laughs> Look, both of you will have, I presume, will have watched Villarreal last night. They've disposed of Juve, they've disposed of Bayern. They're not a side to be taken lightly, are they? No, definitely not. Um, they've knocked out, like you said, I think Juventus, Bayern, two very good sides. So they're a, a very good uh, team in their own right. Um, that'll be a very difficult tie, uh, both legs. So we need to be 100% ready, give it everything, and, um, and hopefully we can progress to the final. Hopefully you can, and I mean, it's such a busy period, Diogo, as well. So many big, important matches. You had City in the league. You've got come through that one. This one, you're through to the semi-finals, and then, of course, you've got City at the weekend in the FA Cup. It's relentless. It doesn't end. What's the mentality like in the team in terms of the hunger and the desire to just keep going in every competition? Yeah, the desire is there. Obviously, we are still fighting for three competitions, so everybody is very excited. We are rotating the squad, so everyone feels involved. And now City on, uh, on, the, on the weekend to, to go uh, to fight for a place in the final. Does it feel like almost a formality? Do you ever take it for granted that you guys are through to the semi-finals? Because from the outside, we see how well you play. We see the success that this club has had over the years. Does it, is it still a pinch me moment for you going through to the next round? Or do you take it as it comes? It, no, it's definitely not taken for granted. It's definitely not in the dressing room. You know, it's, it's huge to get into a quarterfinal of the Champions League. To get into the semi is, is massive. Yes, we've been in a, a few over the last few years, but that doesn't take away how special this competition is. Um, and we want to do our very best in every single competition. Um, and we take it game by game. We give absolutely everything. And, um, and so far it's worked. So we've got a lot of football over the next couple of months. And we want to give a, yeah, a big push to try and compete in all competitions. Well done today, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye.